Okay, so we've finished the edges, and now we're going to go ahead and do these little centerpieces here. Now, I did put some in, but uh, just to go through the technique, this is the easier step, but it might be a little more time-consuming. What it is, as you recall, what the commutator does is holding it uh, here with a sharp triangle on the bottom. This moves here, this moves here, and this moves here. And I just keep putting them in, in one by one, and that's by doing a down, down, up, up. Turn it from the right, and we're going to do a clockwise rotation. Turn it from the left, and a counterclockwise rotation. And most of it's just a matter of getting setups. So if we were to look around at what we might be able to use... So holding this over here, this orange can come to here, this will come here, and this will come over here. So I don't want to knock this out, so what I'm going to do is just turn this in this position over here so that this will participate. And so what that's going to be is down, down, up, up, that's placed, and now we be careful to move this back. It's going to be easier to find our way back now that these edges are in. And that's pretty much what I'm going to do all around the, the puzzle. It's just a matter of setups. So let's say I see this green over here, and I want to move this green in. Uh, so what I need to do is get this over to here. So that's what I'll do. Okay, now see what happened here. This thing got messed up, and I managed to get it back in. That's an exception. See if we can... Yes, yeah, so I don't want to move it that way. I'm just going to automatically move it this way over here. So for this to come over to here, I now got to take this, and I've got to turn this like... Well, I want to move this to here, but I can already see there's trouble if I try to turn it that way. Like so. All right, so this to here... So we're going to go down, down, up, up. And now we have to remember what we did to get it back. This will come up over here, and now this blue to match up over here. And there it is, so this is in over here. So we keep doing patterns like that. So here's an example of doing like a roundabout way of doing it, but to bring this to here, I'm going to take this. Well, actually, um, there's a better one over here. So this red to come to here, I'm going to take this and move it up. So this will come here, this will come here, and this will come here. So once again, down, down, up, up, and we just move this back down over here. So that's it. Now, if I wanted to move this guy in, I just calculate where I need to put things where I would put this. Well, I could put this down over to here. Let me move it twice. So this is here. This needs to come over to here. Uh, and this needs to turn also because we don't want this to be involved in it. Uh, so now that I've turned this up, I just have to remember how to turn it back. And that's going to be turning it from here. I'm not going to take this. Okay, I'm going to turn this down. So remember, this red is going to be the breadcrumb. So this is going to turn down over here. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep it in this position, and I'm going to roll this into here. This will come here, and this will come here. Then I'm going to roll it back by turning this down. I think that'll be easier for me to keep track of. I did something similar to that when I did the um, Eitan star. So first, I'm going to roll this into here, down, Go the other way, down, go the other way, up, up. Now I'm going to take this and move this down, and I'll roll it back in. Down, down, up, roll it the other way, up, and now this rolls back up over here. So you can see I put this in and I didn't touch this, and now I gotta move these guys back, as I recall this moved up to here, and this moved up to here. So just a couple did that. Now, look how off some of these triangles are. I don't think I have too many more solves left in this puzzle, which is too bad. Um, it's just really rickety in terms of how it's put together. But that's how it is with this one. Uh, okay, where can I move this? If I move this into this spot, yeah, that'll work. So I'm going to take this and move it to here. 
Okay, now there's a couple other steps, unfortunately, that, that I have to take. Now this guy I have to move to here, which I will do. Splat, this is here. Now I want to move it into this over here, so I'm going to move this down. Just got to remember to move this up when I'm done. And that's going to be down, down, up, up. Move this up as I promised. Now I move this one back in. Now which one needed to move? This one. So this one moves as well. Okay, so notice I very quickly change the direction of turning if I see that I run into trouble. Uh, so that's what it's like all uh, throughout this puzzle. So how about this piece? Well, if I wanted to move this piece into a position where it can come into this area over here, that would mean... Not. So what I'm going to do is roll this to here, then turn it again so that when this is over here, I can roll it back into there. So here's another classic technique. I'm going to take this, roll it into here. So I basically want to get this or one of them into this slot without ruining this. So move this into a slot that's already full. So that's down, down, up, up. Uh, so this is into here and this is here. Move this empty slot down. Very carefully and now just reverse what I just did. Down, down, up, up, and then move this back where it was before. Bang. So in that way I can put all this in without disrupting this. Okay, this guy can come up to here and can move into this area here. So we have down, down, up, up, and then move it back in. So move this back down. So I think you get the picture. Here's a couple more. Things are falling into place actually pretty nicely here. What can I do to move this one in? Well, can this guy move to here? And the answer is... Yes, right over there. So now this can move to here quite easily. So down, down, up, up. And then we move this back, just like so. So here's some more examples of things that we can do. Here's a typical scenario. You've got this where you want it, and this, uh, you don't want to participate. You can either try to find something else along here that you can turn, but each one of these is already in. Like this is in, this is in, and this is in. I, I did this a few times, but just to reiterate that, if you see this, go ahead and turn this to a slot that doesn't occupy this. So turn this to, um, uh, turn this to a slot that's already occupied, rather. Move it into here so that I can turn it and move it out while moving this one back in. So if you don't want to destroy this, put this into a slot that's already taken by going down, down, up, up. And now move this down to the empty slot and just reverse what you did, which will move this back to here and this down to here. So down, down, up, up, whoop, went the wrong way, down. If you go the wrong way, that's fine, just do it twice. So that'll move it in, that's fine, this didn't get changed, and uh, there you go. So that's, that's just uh, another thing that you can do. So you're looking around, things seem to be in, I want to get this one in, you see that it happens to be here, so move it up. And now we don't want to destroy this, so I don't want to move it in right away. What I'm going to do is just bump it out of the way first, move this into this slot, and go down, down, up, up. Now we're going to reverse it, but first let's move this to the empty slot here, right there. So now we can move this into here, and that'll move this guy back to here. Down, down, up, up. Now somewhere along the line we move something in, which was this. It's pretty obvious just by the structure here and bang. So you can see we're getting them in, and we have practically all... We only have a few more left. So what about uh, the green one? That might be a little easier because you can see that this and this, this is the area, this is the side that can move into this place over here. I just have to do some turning. So I'm going to move this up like so, and I'm not going to move this down yet because I don't want to destroy this. I, I have to have this move in and then move out. So I'm going to take this, move it into a full slot already, 
down, down, up, up. Now before moving it back, I'm gonna take this and I'll move this down so I can move this to here. This will come here and this will slide back to here. So down, pseudo down, up, up. And I just have to remember to move my pieces back. All right, so that's in here. Now I'll move this back in as well. So all these are retained and you can see they, they're just about all in. Here's that white one again. Here's the green one. So now I really have it down to two. These two have to be moved into position. And it would be nice if they were very close to each other or they were across some size that, that can be moved in. So this, this might take more construction and deconstruction than you might feel comfortable with. But in any case, if I can take this and get it over here, then we're okay. So I'm gonna move it to here and now move it up to here. So that wasn't too bad. I can easily remember to move this back to back down here, uh, but that wasn't too bad. So now I'm gonna take this and move it into this slot over here. Splat. Uh, now here's the problem. I don't wanna take this out. So what I have to do is I'm gonna take this and move it down and just remember to move it back up as I'm gonna do that pattern. So we're gonna do down, down, up. Up. Now I'm going to take this, move this back, and reverse it. Down, down, up, up. Okay, so they all should be in. Now it's just a matter of remembering how I turn things. This you can easily see turns over here. This blue down to here, which matches it to this white. And now we move this in, and we're good. So now we see that these centers are in. So we've got the edges, uh, we've got the centers, all these are in. So imagine in the middle of doing all that deconstruction, one of the corners pops again. So then you have to struggle with it, pull it out, put the uh, little inner pedal, uh, pedals back in, pop that back in, and then remember what you did. Really annoying, but this was a way that I've managed to do the solve a few times without having to do that.